it is Thursday morning and I'm showing you all this <laughs> because my mom is leaving today. She just brought out a huge suitcase. She's been here for about a month and we've enjoyed having her here. Um, she only packed for two weeks, but well, she only came for two weeks. But remember, I told you guys, my mom packs like the old lady from Titanic. She brings her whole house. So yeah, she's leaving, but we will see her again in a few weeks for Thanksgiving. But yeah, she's about to head out. Okay, so she is gone. But she will be back in a few weeks for Thanksgiving because I don't know if I told you guys, but my brother and y'all remember my nephew Apollo, he was on the blog when we first met him at seven months old or eight months old. We have not seen him since then. He is now almost six, you guys. Can you believe it? Almost six. Yes, they are coming for Thanksgiving and, and they are staying with me. And of course, if Faraji is okay with him being on camera and they were last time, but you know, I want to respect that. I will ask, of course, you know, if he's okay with it and I will show you guys him. But if not, then you guys have seen a picture or whatever like that. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited about that. And yeah, I'm just working right now and I do go into the office, the last half of the day because there's more training this system that we switched over to i wish they would have asked the majority our opinion because this system is not built for dental i mean it is a dental portion in it but it's just it's it's a pain in the butt and no one is happy with it it's horrible so yeah the training continues. Okay, so I am on lunch, and when I clock back in, I am only going to be here about another 30 minutes, and then I'm going to head out to the office. Did I tell you guys? I'm, yeah, I did, think I did. I told you guys that we're training the um, last half of this afternoon. But what sucks is training is from one to five so I have to stay there longer than normal when I go in the latest I stay is 3 30 I try to get there as early as possible that way I can leave before traffic and whatnot but with training we don't get an option so yeah I'll be for the last two days actually I've come home and by the time I got home it was six o'clock because I got off at five and traffic Anyway, um, I will show you guys my living room, which is insane right now because remember I told you guys I'm redoing my living room. So I started out with my tables and everything is just thrown like all over the place and it's a mess. And even my walls are a mess because I'm trying to find a paint color for it. Um, let me just show you guys. And this is a sneak peek. Of course, you guys will get everything in a reveal video whenever that will be. But that will take longer for you guys to see than the laundry room because I don't know how much these shutters are going to cost you guys. And if it's really, truly expensive, then I'm going to have to save up for it. Number one. Number two, I still haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of these couches. And you OGs oh remember when I got this couch set, but yeah, I think I'm going to give it up because it's not looking very good. It's kind of worn. Yeah, and don't mind all that up there. That's just all my my sanding <laughs> um, little machine, whatever, for these tables. Let me just show you guys the craziness. So, yes, remember my black tables? Well, I am in the process of painting them white. And ignore that on top. The top is not going to be white or whatever. But, um... Yeah, this is insane right now, and yeah, so my walls, look you guys, I'm trying to find a paint color, and I did this in different areas of my house because I want to see how the light hits it from all angles, and I've done it with all of my areas that I've painted, but let me explain to you my insanity. So right here, I paint it with the primer, and I put the paint on the primer to see what it would look like, the color that it's supposed to be and then I put it on the 
colored wall because I wanted to see what it would look like if I didn't use a primer because I really don't want to prime these walls because my ceilings are vaulted and I have to get up on the ladder and that's a whole nother story you guys I'm afraid of heights whatever so I'm just trying to avoid doing it twice but um, this color is definitely out because it's too dark but this is how it would look if I primed it, which is way too dark. This is how it would look if I didn't prime it, which it looks way too silver. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I did it like that. So all three of these colors are absolutely a no. So yeah, I got to find out what color I'm going to paint the living room. Uh, but yeah, everything is all over the place right now. But yeah, and then I have some, what do you call these, the swatches or whatever, um, I don't know you guys. Okay, so in like eight minutes I am going to go into the office. I picked up the camera to tell y'all something that I don't remember. Anyway, I can't wait to get back home so I can continue painting and doing what I'm doing to my tables. It's funny because my kids know how I am as, as far as home improvement and whatever. So in the beginning, when they would hear like a loud or weird noise, they would come out like, what are you doing? But now they know my insanity level when it comes to my house and whatever. So that little sander, I actually just bought that. I've only hand sanded things for like little projects and um, I was gonna hand sand those so it'd be easier to paint, but it's kind of hard to do, especially since I have tendonitis in my left hand, my left wrist, and I should have my brace on right now, but it was kind of like uncomfortable last night and I, I don't know, I just don't wanna wear it today. I usually put it on when I come home. And technically I should have it when I'm typing, I don't know. So I bought the sander and the girls were in their rooms and I just started using it and no one came out. And it's funny cause I actually was expecting them to come out. Like, what are you doing? And so I went in Savannah's room, I'm like, didn't you hear the sander? And she's like, yeah, I heard it. And I'm like, you wasn't wondering what was going on? And she's like, um, mom, um, with you in the house, it could be anything, so. Good morning, it is Friday, finally Friday. And I am making my coffee, y'all. <clears throat> I feel like I sound like Fred this morning. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Today is Friday and I do sound a little bit more raspy in the mornings and that's just me. But I think a lot has to do with, I think I'm coming down with a cold. And yes, it's just a cold. And it's funny because is everything COVID now? You know, does every cough and every sneeze and sniffle, is it COVID? You know, it's not. And it's great going on next one. Reading the messages from work. Anyway, um, I am working from home fully today for the whole day. Um, with my boss, if you're like sick and if you call in for one day or something like that is, oh, make sure you get a COVID test. Uh, no, I know my stomach ache or my headache or, you know, my sniffles is not a COVID thing, you know, so yeah. Oh, do we have a holiday party next month? Anyway, you guys, um, what am I saying? Um, I miss working four days a week. I miss it. These five days, y'all, I'm telling you, is killing me. <laughs> and I Yes, I'm complaining, but I'm not complaining. I mean, millions of people work five days, but y'all just know, I mean, I'm still in dental, but I'm billing. So that's an everyday thing. Well, Monday through Friday thing. But when I actually worked in the office, I made sure that I worked for offices that were four days a week. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is, this is, this is just not the life I'm used to. <laughs> Um, I know I'm spoiled. We are spoiled in dental, but I don't want to go back in the office because I don't want to work alongside a doctor and stuff like that. So I can either complain about working five days 
and just shut up and do it or I can jump ship and I'm not jumping ship because I actually like my job so yeah let me get my coffee hold on anyway I have someone coming over today to uh, oh do you guys remember a few months back that I told you guys I was leaving Home Depot when I picked up like a shower head for my kids bathroom the guy who was supposed to come do it remember I told you guys that I have a plumber who he's working on getting this contractor's license or something like that but anyway he does he is a plumber he works for a big company but he does plumbing on the side well he told me to call him anytime I need something, and so that's what I've been doing. I have not, knock on wood and thank God, have not needed a whole lot of plumbing things. He fixed my sink um, when my sink was dripping in my kitchen, and what else did he do? <clears throat> oh, my kid's bathroom. Um, he fixed something on the inside because it was like, you know, after you flush it, it was still like making a noise and it was just making a noise and he needed to fix something in there or whatever. So nothing huge or major, thank God. And I pray the knock on wood. So my shower, the, um, the kid's shower, we have hot water everywhere in the house except their bathroom, their shower. So even the sink has hot water. So he told me the parts to get and whatever. And I got the parts and it's still sitting in my room. This dude, I texted him, it was ready. And you know, for him to let me know when he has available. And he said, okay, I'll call you when I get off of work. That was two months ago, he ghosted me. So I even texted him back, cause I'm not gonna bug you. I'm not gonna beg you to give you money, you know? So I texted him or I think I called him like a week after that and I left a message and I'm like hey you know I know you're busy at work and you know probably got other things in life going on just you know being really sweet and not pushy or anything but I let him know I said I have the parts you told me to get and everything so um, when would be a good time for you to come and fix the shower and nothing 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 and I'm not gonna continue to call him so yes something could have happened he could be sick, he could be in a hospital, he could be in jail. I, I'm just saying, I don't know. But anyway, I said all that to say that I called the company here and it's a smaller company. They're only going to charge me $40 to check it out even though they know what's going on. They're coming between eight and 10 today to check it out and I'm not gonna have him replace the whole shower head because that's gonna cost extra I just need them to have hot water in their shower because I'm sick and tired of having them in my room and plus with my brother and nephew coming um, they need to get out well not my brother and my nephew but my girls need to get out of my bathroom and when my mom was here she just showered in my bathroom you know that was no big deal so yeah I just have my mask here ready waiting for them to come it's 744 and they said between 8 and 10 and if it's something that I want done today then they can do it today which I'm I want them to do it today I hope it's not that expensive because yeah I just hope it's not that expensive hopefully I can use the part that I bought that way I won't have to pay for their part as long as it's the same thing y'all see what I'm saying anyway I've been talking and rambling too long let me drink my coffee and go back to work yeah I'm so excited so their shower is fixed so them girls can raise up out of my bathroom I done got all of their stuff out and put it in back in their bathroom because my shower area is tiny it's smaller than theirs because I have a separate shower and then the bathtub is on the outside of it so my shower is really small and they bring in all their hair products and their lotions, not their lotions, but all their soaps and, you know, face wash and all that. And it's like, where are you trying to put all this? It's all on the floor of the bathroom area. So yeah, now it's back in their bathroom because y'all got to go. Hello. So it's like 5.30 and I'm dressed because we have a church conference like a, like a revival going on this weekend so it starts tonight tomorrow night and then Sunday morning so I'm excited about that my church my new church it's I really like it you guys so it's bigger than my church before 
but it's not as big to where you will get swallowed up in the crowd and no one's gonna know who you are or anything like that so I like it so I'm just getting ready and what I have here is just like clear mascara because y'all know I don't do the makeup thing all right I have it all on it's a new kind that I've bought I haven't bought this brand before the elf brand so see it's just clear and one side's for your eyebrows and the other side is for your eyelashes and the other kind I used to buy it would like flake like have these white flakes in it and I hope this one doesn't do that because I don't want it looking like I didn't wash my face or something. Well, hello everyone. It is Sunday and it's after church. Ignore all the mess behind me. Y'all know I'm trying to redo this living room and whatnot. But um, I just got back from church and oh, I need to reset my clocks. <sighs> anyway, so I just got back from church and actually in an hour the guy is supposed to come and give me a quote for some blinds and I know you guys have seen me put up blinds myself and technically yes I can do it but these are not regular blinds these are like the plantation sliding blinds so something like that so yes that's what I want in my living room and yeah so hopefully it's not like $5,000. I mean, it shouldn't be, but I actually Googled the price of these things and it can get pretty pricey. So we'll see you guys. But yeah, he should be here shortly. And the girls are actually with some of their church friends. They're out to eat. And I could have gone because they were adult. Well, my kids are adults, but you know what I'm saying? People their age. There were people my age that went out to eat as well, but I needed to come home because I wanted to make sure I was home in time for um, the guy when he comes measure for the blinds. So that's about it now. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what he says. Keeping my fingers crossed that it's doable financially. And yeah, because I'm sick and tired of this, these curtains. I've changed curtains in this living room let me see one so i've changed these blinds well, not blinds i've changed these curtains four times because i just got tired of them so i'm tired of curtain period so we'll see you guys Okay, so I am back home and I am watching I'm watching Locked Up on Netflix. I don't know if I told you guys this. Um anyway, it's one of those prison shows and to me it's in Spanish, so I have to read it and you can't even change the audio to English, but it's okay. This to me is better than Orange is a New Black, is better than Wentworth. So yeah, if you guys have Netflix and you guys like the prison shows, the ones that are not real, not based on a true story or anything like that, 
watch Lock That. And I guess in Spanish is vis a vis or vis a vis, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm watching now. And in a little bit, I don't know, I may do it tonight, but I may go sand some of the table. Let me show you guys. Usually when I start a project, I'll show you guys like a sneak peek. I really don't show you guys what I'm doing, but because this one I think is going to take a little bit longer because I have to save up for the blinds, not the blinds, the um, shutters that I want. Um, and they're not $5,000, y'all. They're not $5,000. The price is very doable. I just have to save. So anyway, let me just show you guys. All right, y'all, ignore my living room. I know it's a hot mess right now. But that's because I'm trying to redo it. Anyway, I have all my <laughs> um, fall stuff over there. But the reason why I have things on top and it may look like it's not heavy. But I put a bunch of stuff. Excuse me. I put a bunch of stuff on the inside of these. So that way it can hold down the wood. But um, I could probably take it off now. Because it's been like three days. Hold on. Y'all remember my black end tables and coffee table and that table over there that I put all this together. Well, Cheyenne helped me with these. Anyway, I painted them white and then I measured the wood and I glued them down. So anyway, yes, I measured the table and I went to Home Depot and had them cut me some wood and I glued it on here. And like I said, the reason why all this stuff is on there is just so... It can hold it down and I need to sand it to make it smooth and then I am going to stain it so this is the last you guys will see of it until it's all done but yeah that's what I may do tonight and as you can see yeah I showed you guys that already I feel like I showed you guys the paint on the wall and I also did some right there and that actually fell but it's okay because I was gonna take it down anyway to paint the wall so yeah, you guys. And this right here is just the caulking that I was using. And then I mixed it, not mixed it, but I also put E6000 on it. So, yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. I just wanted to show y'all something. I'm going to turn my TV on. Look at that, y'all. Half of the screen is black. Okay, so it's a Samsung TV, and I reset it to the factory settings, which I knew wouldn't make a difference, but I was talking on the phone to tech support, and they said to do that, and also to the hub or whatever like that. Then she transferred me to um, like where they come out and fix the TV. <laughs> you know what he said? He said $250. Um, no, sir. That $250 could buy another TV, and I won't have to worry about that. So, yeah, buying another TV was not on the list for now because I'm trying to save for other things. I need my roof done, which I'm saving for. I need things that I'm doing in the living room. So, yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily need a TV in my room. It's not like it's life or death or it's not like something you have to have. Like, you have to have a refrigerator or a stove or something like that. So, I'm thankful it's not like that. But first world problems, I tell you, because now I'm like, I didn't want to have to buy another TV, but now I'm going to have to buy another TV. I'm just complaining, y'all. Y'all, look what I went to Best Buy and picked up. Yeah, got to have it. So this is the one that I ended up getting, the LG, and it's 43 inches. I don't need nothing that huge for my room. So this is my old TV. It's a Samsung. Aren't Samsung supposed to be like the top of the line? Maybe I just got a hold of a bad one. I don't know. Okay, so the new TV is up, and I promise you it's not smaller. I just put it up higher, and I didn't feel like taking it down. And as you can see... This is what the color of my walls used to look like. And <laughs> yeah, my TV that I had here when I painted my walls was huge. And Tariq wasn't here at the moment, even though he did help me paint the room. But when I did behind the TV, if I remember correctly, he wasn't here. So I just painted around it. But yeah, you guys, I actually should have painted the wall before I put the 
TV on here yesterday, but it's whatever. But yeah, that is really bugging me now that I can see so much brown. I do have this color out in the garage that I could just, you know, paint behind here. Because this TV is really light. The one I used to have, the very first one that I mounted to my wall, was humongous, huge, and heavy. So, yeah, that's the new TV, you guys. Okay, so that's up, but I'm in the living room about to watch TV. Anyway, so, I don't know if I told you guys this. I remember telling you guys in a past vlog, but then I don't remember. Anyway, my brother, the one that lives in Texas, Apollo's dad, they are both going to be here tonight. I'm so excited. I have not seen Faraji since Savannah graduated and Apollo wasn't with him at the time because he did not have him but he and I'm not going to go into his business but he has custody of Apollo so yeah I get to see Apollo I have not seen him y'all I have not seen my nephew since he was I think seven or eight months six seven or eight months something like that and of course I talked to him on the phone and like video chat and stuff like that but haven't actually seen him since then so excited and he's staying until after Thanksgiving and my mom is here also with her multiple bags <laughs> I'm sorry you guys I get a kick out of that and it seems like as she gets older it gets worse I tease her about it all she brings so much stuff it's not a big deal to me I'm not upset or anything like that it's just like woman you are one tiny little person. What do you need so much? I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's going on. And let me show you guys my um, living room tables. And this is the last you guys are going to see of it until I actually do a full reveal. <clears throat> I mean, y'all know usually I won't show you anything until the actual video. My nose itching. What's the saying? Your nose is itching, you're gonna be kissed by a fool or something like that. I don't know. Whew. Anyway, so let me show you guys my tables that I completed. I did myself, cause y'all know me how I do. I got a little skills, a little something, something. So I'm so excited how it turned out. And already you guys, just by me painting these tables white, it has brightened up the room. So let me show you. Look at this y'all. I am beyond ecstatic. <laughs> I am beyond shocked at how good this turned out and see the wood on top that I glued down and then I stained it gray it's called weathered gray so yeah you guys I did all three of those right there and then this table right here let me pull it a little bit closer so you guys can see it and yeah I did the stain but <clears throat> I only did two coats um, because I wanted to look I wanted it to look a little bit worn and whatnot so yeah and I know it's shiny in some places and some place not and that's because when I put the sealer on um, some places didn't you know it didn't go on very well and I was thinking about redoing it but I don't know I kind of like that old look like it's being broken down or <laughs> it's fading so I kind of like that look but yeah you guys and the contrast of the orange the fall decorations i think it's really nice so this is all you will see of my living room transformation until the final video um yeah which i don't know when that will be like i said it will be longer because one of the items that i want it's going to take a little bit of time because i have to save up for it so yeah you guys apollo say hi Say hi. Hi. I'm so happy he's here, you guys. Yeah, see yourself? <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> what? You trying to see behind the camera? Okay, hold up. Let me flip it up. Let me flip it up. Then you can see yourself. See? See? <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Apollo. Say hey, everybody. Yeah. He loves his Tia. Oh, aren't you cute? I love you. You want to see yourself? You, I'm trying to show you. 
Okay. Come here, come over here. Hop like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Hop like a bunny rabbit, Paulo. <laughs> He's like you when you were a kid. You can't see yourself if you're behind the camera. You gotta go in front. No? Okay. Hop like a bunny rabbit. Savannah's jumping too, so that's why he's jumping. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> this kid knows how to work his tablet and pause and everything. This new generation of children. <laughs> I'd be like two jumps. Michelle's here, slaving in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Like a slave. Because she's black. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got over here? Vegan stuff for the vegans in the household. Good afternoon, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And no one's here yet. My brother Faraji is here. Well, he's not actively here, actively. He's not here at the moment. He and Apollo went to help my other brother with a, not a fundraiser, but what's that, like a feed the hungry thing? And I couldn't go because I am cooking, so yeah. And actually I'm done cooking, so I'm resting right now and just waiting until everyone gets here. But yeah, you guys, I'm excited to see my family and hang out without masks and, cause we're all vaccinated, so. <laughs> What you say about us? Don't make the decision. We're just writing the book. Apollo. What? Yeah. 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 So I forgot to show you guys the food before we started, but everyone is digging in and have pies over here. This is something my aunt made and my mom made this. I think it's potato bread. They have pecan pie and everything over here is all for the vegans in the house, which we have four. And these are my cousins. Say hi, y'all. And Savannah, y'all know Savannah. Say hi to the blog. We're playing Mafia and everyone's sitting around waiting on my Uncle John to come back. I'm going to hand it up can too. Alright, alright. Well, show your card. He's Bam! I told you, why did you know who it was? Why did you say who it is? Oh, I know who it is. Unless he knows her, he's going to say Alright, we got three towns members left and one of y'all is my... Hello everyone, so I know it's been a bunch of randomness on this channel lately, but life has been kind of chaotic in a good way. Um, my brother was here from Texas and my nephew Apollo and I didn't really vlog a whole lot and I know that's the story of my life lately but I really was enjoying time with them and yeah and my brother was okay with the little bits of Apollo that I did capture on camera so he was okay with that and yeah you guys we had so much fun family was over on Thanksgiving that was about maybe I don't know, maybe 12 or 13 of us, and everyone is vaccinated, and no, I didn't check, I just know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we all had a good time, we were being safe, and yeah, my mom is leaving tomorrow, I don't even know if I told you guys, my mom came back again, um, because Apollo was here, and my brother, so yeah, me and my brothers were under the same roof for the first time in like two years, or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna end it. I don't know what's all is on this video, but probably just a bunch of randomness. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get more consistent, Michelle. Let's do this.